Well, our Royal Correspondent, Laura Bundock, and our Science Correspondent, Thomas Moore, are both with me in the studio. Uh, Laura, this is desperately sad news, isn't it, about Kate? Uh, what do you make of what the Princess just had to say? I think it's incredibly brave of her to come out and, and make a public statement in this way. She recorded this video um, in Windsor on Wednesday. It was certainly not the news we were expecting to hear. We always knew there would be a long recovery period after her abdominal surgery in the middle of January. And we were told we weren't to be expected to see her on engagements this side of Easter. And as you know, there has been huge amounts of pressure on her during her absence. This void has been created that, as we've been saying, ad infinitum, it feels, was filled with the wild speculation, the conspiracy theories online. But now we know what Kate has known for some time. We know she found out about this after those tests confirmed following her surgery that she did have cancer, that she began this course of chemotherapy at the end of February. We don't know what kind of cancer she has. We don't know what stage of cancer. This is all her private medical information. But I think the fact she is sharing this now is, of course, serious news and a significant moment as well. We understand the reason the decision's been taken to, to go public it, it is very much connected to the children. I mean, as a person, she clearly needed the time to herself come to terms with a diagnosis and recover from that surgery and then, of course, start her treatment. But I think throughout this whole process, the three children um, have been their absolute priority and they wanted to make sure that the time was right when they did tell them and to allow them the space to be able to fully understand and process this news before it came, before it went public. And of course, the children have now broken up from school for the Easter holidays. They're all off together now for at least three weeks. And I think that's why the couple felt this was the right time to go public. And do we know any more about uh, how she feels about those conspiracy theories? I mean, the internet has been uh, wild with them for weeks. Part of this will be trying to put that to bed and move on. Certainly. I mean, she has been under the most extraordinary pressure. And we now know what she was also going through at the same time, which is coming to terms um, with a diagnosis, having to recover from... Um, major abdominal surgery and then, of course, start preventative chemotherapy as well. And at the same time, making sure her children were OK as well. It's been a very difficult time for her and, of course, the Prince of Wales. We know he's been incredibly frustrated and understandably so by the amount of um, online speculation, the rumours that got so out of hand, didn't they? And I feel we understand that Prince William's focus very much now on Kate, on his family, but he will be, we understand, and returning to work after the Easter holidays. We wouldn't be expecting to see him actually in the next few weeks, but he, he will be returning to work, but very much managing and making sure that he can do everything he can to support Kate while she undergoes this treatment. 